Hello everyone, this is Khalif from NCS Training Center. We are a training center located uh, in Toronto, Canada, and we are specialized in Microsoft Dynamics Business Center training. If you have any training requests, uh, you can always uh, give me a call or send me an email. And these are the training courses that we provide for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Today's subject uh, <clears throat> it's already is already covered in this course here the financial essentials course course uh, this course here 81242AE the financial essential and it's to answer Anna question Anna is uh, working for a company they are they started uh, a few weeks ago using Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central and she is an accountant and her question is that how you can or actually uh, she had a question about payment tolerance <clears throat> so as you know that sometimes you receive payment from customers and this payment is not exactly the same amount of the sales invoice that you posted for that customer. Just an example, a customer, you posted the sales invoice for for, for them and uh, it was $103. But the customer sent you by mistake, for example, a check to pay that invoice and it was $102 or 100 100 exactly for example so you it's not recommended that you call the customer and you tell him that you are short in paying like one dollar invoice or you are short in paying two dollars and the invoice is 103 dollars so you can apply you can change the payment terms percentage in the system in business central you can change the percentage to be 3% and you can specify also the maximum payment tolerance amount like how much is the maximum amount that you want to allow your business users to be able to to change the maximum amount here this is one thing that we are going to discuss and the other thing um, I mentioned also in my previous training that you can have a payment discount and I mentioned also that you can change on the fly the payment uh, discount date for example if the customer pay on certain dates and you want to give him still a discount so there's in the all of these are are changed in the general ledger setup so you can change for example the payment discounts grace period to be, to, uh, to be two days this means that you will be allowing the customer to have two days uh, tolerance you know in getting the discount for his invoices i'm gonna show you all of these in the application as well but just so that you know that you can change all of these variables from the general ledger setup by clicking on change payment terms or by clicking uh, and this one here change payment tolerance you can change it uh, you can change the payment tolerance percentage and you can change the maximum payment tolerance amount from clicking on change payment tolerance but this what this field here the payment discount grace period you can put it um, uh, straightforward you can type here two days or three days uh, for allowing the customers to have the discount and this is uh, what I would like to discuss today is to answer Anna question so you can you can have this set up on the system and the other point is the vendor ledger entries for example or the customer ledger entries the same thing exactly so you can you can see the maximum payment terms amount that once you change it in the GS setup you will see the impact of this on the vendor ledger entries that this field will be changed automatically to have the percentage that you put on the payment terms uh, amount 
or payment or risk percentage and amount also. And one other thing that I will show you also on the system now that you can block this for certain customers. So whatever we are saying here for customers, it should apply automatically also for vendors. So it applies also to vendors. So whatever we said that the payment tolerance will be applied to customers, also it will be applied to vendors. So my point here is that you can block the payment tolerance for certain vendors or certain customers by going to the vendor card and enable this flag here. Block payment tolerance. So it will be blocked for certain vendors or certain customers. I will show you this in the application now. So this is the uh, my business central here, my Dynamics 365 business central. And I will show you how you can change. Uh, Anna, this is mainly for you. So you have to go to general ledger setup. This one here. This page, general ledger setup. And you see here, if you scroll down to the application fast tab, you will be able to see what I set up for payment tolerance already in the system and for maximum payment tolerance. Now to change this, you go to actions and then to functions and then change payment tolerance. And then you put the percentage that you want. You can specify that you want this for all currency or for specific currency if you want this just for specific currency you can click here on the assist button and select the currency that you want for example i want this to be changed for euro for us dollars i can specify the currency that i want or if you don't specify the currency you leave it blank and you leave this all currencies for example you enable this flag here and you can specify here that I want to change it. I will change it now from 3% to, for example, 2%. With a maximum payment tolerance amount allowed as $4, just to make changes here to these numbers, because you cannot enter them. These are non-editable fields. So you have to go through this function here change payment terms and click OK and then confirm the message do you want to change the all open entries yes I want for every customer and vendor yes I want that because this will change also the open entries once you click OK you will see that these will be changed as well let's give it a second here you see like you change the payment tolerance for uh, this means that I will give permission to every accountant that is applying payments for customer or vendors to close the payment if it is within the payment amount the payment tolerance percentage that I gave my accountant to to have tolerance in doing is two percent and the maximum amount for this tolerance will be four dollars or four euros depends on the local currency that you are using now here i will put three days for payment amount grace period and also like uh, do you need a warning message for example i can enable this so it will give me a warning message every time I apply a payment with tolerance amount and the same thing here this will give me a warning every time I change the payment discount date I hope that helped and I hope that answered your question Anna uh, okay stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for more training videos on Business Center. Thank you. Bye.